afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. I just have a few comments before I'm going to turn the floor over uh, to Dr. Miller, who is our um, director of the Sheridan r &E Center. Uh, before I get started, though, um, I want to make sure that you've had an opportunity to grab one of the field days bulletins. I'm going to reference what's in here, and I believe they may be referencing some of the materials in here as we go along the tour. So if you've not had a chance, make sure that you pick up one of these. And <clears throat> for those of you that have one in your hand, I'd like you to draw your attention to something that's very special, something that's very dear to me. If you'll pr turn to page two of that field day bulletin, there is, I, I want to make sure that everybody's aware that this bulletin report is dedicated to Ron Pulley and the description of why that dedication is there um, it is indicated there. He was a staunch supporter of the experiment station and the RE centers. I believe his wife or his widow um, is with us, Glenn. And we just want to say thanks. And if you would all please just um, help me take a moment of silence to recognize this very special individual, I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you to the police. Okay, so in the very next article, um, it's in the introduction after the, make sure I get the page number here. On page 11, after all the front matter, um, I'm going to follow some of the material that's in my introduction. Uh, that you'll note that the introduction mentions this is the fifth edition of the Field Days Bulletin. About five or plus years ago, my team got together and decided that we needed to do something to make sure that the folks that attended the Field Days had something that they could reference after the Field Days and in a manner that um, would briefly explain what we're doing, not get into too much of the scientific detail if you're a scientist and interested in a lot of that detail, or if you're interested in more detail about something that's in the summary, the contact information for the investigator is at the bottom uh, of every story. And we welcome you to um, contact them and um, ask follow-up questions. In, the, in my introduction, I also mentioned a couple items. Um, there's been a change, um, the, a few changes. Dr. Gary Moss was the associate director of the experiment station. And um, he decided that he had had enough after a little over 30 plus years working for university systems, so he retired. And I've hired uh, John Tanaka as the associate director of the experiment station. Um, John, John can do more than hold the, the microphone up, too. <laughs> My job. <laughs> he, he does well at that, but he does well at so many other things. He, he's excellent with community engagement. Um, has a, a long-standing background with experience at r &E centers, and, and we're just so pleased to have John on board. Um, John also has some other duties as assigned, which includes the director of the um, Sustainable Ag Research and Extension Center over in Lingle, Wyoming, and he's currently serving as the PAL um, r &E Center director. So thanks, John. Um, <clears throat> in addition, I, I already mentioned Dr. Brian Miller. He was, there he is, a little higher, Brian. So Brian's going to talk next. Um, I, I mentioned that Dr. Miller is the director of the center up here. I was serving in that capacity for almost a, a year, a little over a year, and um, we went through a process where Brian was selected to, to serve in that capacity, and he's been officially the director of the Sheridan r &E Center from since May 18th or so. Um, and as part of that article goes, basically it's the director's responsibilities to host these field days. So fairly shortly, I will be turning the mic over to our host and he's gonna take it from there um, because I'm sure that you'll be done listening to me anyway. Um, <clears throat> there's one other thing at the bottom of everyone, most of these articles you'll, you'll see P-A-R-P -P in caps. And, and then some type of number after that. I want to point that out because 
that refers to the production ad research priorities. Um, a list of those priorities are in an appendix at the back of the bulletin. And those production ad research priorities were developed by conducting a series of, of listening sessions with producer groups, um, others that are interested in agriculture, and ask them the questions. What do you think you need done or researched um, as a topic that we could address? And so what we are doing since last year are beginning to link some of the work that we're doing at these centers and off-site to what all of you have said as producers or interested farmers and ranchers. And we're going to continue to do that. In fact, our peer review publications that we post on our website will also have reference to the part that we're addressing. That the way we see this is that it's an opportunity to demonstrate not only the work that we're doing that you suggested you like the answers to, but it'll also help us fill gaps and lead us into future directions where maybe additional research needs to be conducted. Um, there's one other guest that I, I need to mention um, before I turn it over to Brian. Uh -huh, there she is. Dr. Donna Brown, our um, Associate Dean for Academic and Student Programs, is uh, also here representing the, the college. And um, unfortunately, the, the dean could not make it today. So Dr. Brown is uh, the dean for up here. Um, so thanks, Donna. Um, Mary Kay Wardlaw. Mary Kay, I know you're probably standing somewhere. Can you, can you just say hello if you're out here? Okay, maybe she's inside. She's probably waiting for us to all vacate so that she can go. And then lastly, um, somebody that came up with me and her um, name is mentioned in the Field Days Bulletin. This is a quality publication that's produced in large part because the person that's standing over here in the checkered shirt that's <laughs> acting like very coy, <laughs> like she had no part in it, but she takes an immense amount of time to put this wonderful publication together and I just want to say thank you Joanne for the wonderful job um, and yeah please join me in thank you. Okay I, I'm not accustomed to, to, to being out in the heat very often and, and so I'm going to turn the floor over to Dr. Mueller and he's going to give you a, a real briefing on what's to come. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Brett. Um, you guys, I'd just like to recognize the fact that, that Brett takes the time to come and participate in all these field days. Um, he likes to kind of pass on the credit to other folks, but uh, most of this stuff would not happen if we didn't have Brett's support and um, his guidance and a lot of the things that we do. So if you guys wouldn't mind giving Brett a round of applause, I appreciate it. Um, so as Brett said, I'm Brian Mueller. I'm the new director here at the Sheridan r and &E Center. Um, today we're going to have a chance to briefly see some of the activities that we have going on at this part of the center. We'll only see a little bit over half. Um, we actually have two locations. The other location that is part of our center here is on the way out to Yarno, uh, where we have dry land farming, uh, reclamation research, and some other things that go on out there. So if you'll come back for another field day in other years, Maybe you'll get to see a little bit more about the activities that we have going on out on that portion of the center as well. Um, just a brief overview. I know you guys have an agenda. We're going to go spend about, at this point in time, less than two hours um, in the field to the south of here um, and see a number of different research and extension projects and get a brief overview on some of those. Um, there are no facilities once we get on the bus. And so I'll just say, please be prepared. There is water. We will have a few coolers of water that will be located close to the trolleys so that you can hydrate while you're out in the sun um, and, and be prepared for that as well. Before we go too much further, I, I wanted to ask um, the rest of the Sarek, or the Shrek, excuse me, crew, um, if you guys would, they're, they're, you're kind of scattered around, but I'm gonna say Rochelle, Mike, Dan, and then all of the you guys come on up here for a second and then all all of the students that have helped get things ready for the field day today um so 
Colin, Bailey, Brand, Sarah, 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 Hannah, Hannah, all of, all of you guys um, that have helped uh, with putting up signs, cleaning up parts of the plots, um, labeling things, getting all the things ready so that this field day can go smoothly. Um, these guys have really done the majority of getting everything ready. So um, it's a fantastic team, and I, I feel like I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be up here working with these guys. So if you please give them a round of applause.